Hey guys, and welcome to this week's Q&A for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. Every Friday I answer your questions, and if you have any questions, just leave me your questions here in the comments. So this week we have four questions, so let's jump into it. First question, can you draw a mask in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad? He posted that on the video where I explained how you can use DaVinci Resolve with the pencil, all the ins and outs and everything. This is a very good question, because DaVinci Resolve doesn't really support drawing like Final Cut Pro yet, but you can create masks. I show you what I mean. So if you're here on the color page and you create a new, a new note, and then you come in here to this one. You have all kinds of different shapes that you can use as mask. Like I can just use the basic ones, but I can also, with this one here, I can draw and now I can use my pencil and I can dot by dot use my pencil to draw here dot like. It's not the same like the Final Cut Pro one where you can actually draw, but you can't make masks there. So he doesn't really have it as well. But this is the way how you can create masks in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. So with this one, you can now highlight colors, change the colors. You can even put stuff in. As there's a lot of possibilities. I think I have a separate video here on my channel where I just talk about masks. Next question. Hi, Daniel. Do you know if there is any way to filter clips by flags in the color page? That's what I do in the computer for color correction, but I can't find a way to do it on the iPad. I tried assigning keyboard shortcuts, but it doesn't look like there's an option for this specific need. So this was a very good question. It took me a time to figure this out. I can already tell you, yes, I found a way, but this was not easy. I will show you know what I mean. So she was asking about this. So I prepared a couple of clips here and they all have different flags. If you want to create flags, for example, you're on the edit page, you can just simply click a clip and then you can add here different kind of flags. And the cool thing is if you come to the desktop version of DaVinci Resolve and here on top where you have clips and you can activate the clips timeline and stuff there is a little arrow next here and then you can just filter then you can for example say I only want to see all the blue uh, clips so let's say for example you work with someone and you say hey on those clips please do a sky replacement and then he can easily just sort through everything and he sees the blue clips but we don't have that here and the reason why there is no shortcut you know normally there is a shortcut somewhere is because those filters even on the desktop there is no shortcut for that this is nothing that they took away for the ipad it's just even on the desktop we don't have shortcuts for that but i don't have this little error so it's basically missing they have to put this in and then we can use this or right click here or something but it it just doesn't work maybe you found a way then please show me where but i found a way and there's something else that we are missing and that is light box if you look at the davinci resolve on the desktop you will see here on the top there is a light box and the light box basically opens all of your clips in a big window same like with when i make full screen with my with my viewer, right? I can also make full screen with my timeline stuff. And I looked for a shortcut for that. So if you type in here in, in the shortcuts menu, light box, then you see here workspace, show panel and workspace, and you can give a shortcut to that one, light box. So now I have a shortcut here. So, and now my light box opens. And here's a funny cool thing, because here in the light box, I can change now the view of my clips and you can already see if you have a lot of clips it's sometimes easier to see all of your clips because you can make them smaller and you see that here on the right side it's basically your timeline uh, time code you see where it is and then this is the funny part now here on the left side if I click on this I can now filter through all kind of different things same like the little icon that is missing in the other page so same like the little icon that is missing next to the clips here on the iPad. When I now come here in to flags, for example, I can filter by blue flag. And if I hit my shortcut again and I come back to the normal view, now you see I only see the blue ones here. If you want to filter, this is the way how you can do it at the moment with DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. I hope they change that in the future. It's easier, but you can actually do it. So go to the shortcut, open the light box, and then you can sort through flags. And not just that, you can even like, let's say you have a long timeline. Here's something like ungraded clips. In my case, all of them, except one has no color. They all have no color grade on it. So that's why I can see all of them. Pretty cool because you can use all of those different types of uh, filters. Amazing. Hey Daniel, I have a question. When I use a 60 frame rate video in my project, and for example, I want to slow it down by 50%, then I cannot export my project with 30 frames rate, even in the deliver page. It's locked on 60 frames, even if I change that speed or whatever project settings. So how can I do a 60 frame video and show only render it with 30 frames for Instagram? That's basically a slow motion video that you're trying to do. So I prepared something. First of all, if you have the studio version, you can go up to even 120 frames. If you only have the free version, I think it's only 
up to 60 frames. But in this case, it should be working on the fr uh, free one, right? So I have a video clip here that is shot on my iPhone with I think 120 frames slow motion. So what you have to do, and I think there is the mistake, you have to create a timeline. So I go come in here, new timeline, create new timeline. And with this timeline, I would change my settings here for not 60 frames, you have to change your timeline to 30 frames. So now my timeline is 30 frames and you say create and now I can use my slow motion video in here. And now if I click this one, I hit R and I can change this clip speed now here in the edit page, also works in the cut page. Now I can go down 50% change and now my clip is in slow motion and I can even render that out because my timeline is 30 frames. This is the way how you do slow motion videos in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. So last question comes from Carlos. When you have time, so he wants to create a watermark effect on with a logo on his videos and maybe he couldn't figure this out. So that's actually very simple. I will show you how you can do this. Let's say here on that video I have a logo. I place a logo here on top of my timeline, make it as long as my video, come to the inspector and I can change the transform settings. So for example, I can click on this one and I see the handles. So let's say I want to make this here in the corner, somewhere there. And now what you have to do is here in the inspector, scroll down when you see composite, I can now add opacity, something like that. And what I also will do is I go to effects and I look for the open effects, drop shadow. I will drop use a drop shadow on top of that one. Now I can click my logo again, come in the inspector and here on the top you see all the effects and settings for the drop shadow. I can change that one as I like. So this is one way, very simple. You just make it, you reduce the opacity so it's watermark like. And another way what you could do is instead of using normal, you could also change the blending mode. So it depends on what you want to use here. Not all of them look great, but you could go through that as well. And But in my case, most of them, I just use normal and I play around with the opacity and have a, drop, have a drop shadow and then I have my watermark. I hope this is what you wanted. So yeah, that's it for this week's Q&A for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. If you have questions for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, just leave me your questions here under this video and next week, Friday, I will answer your questions. I hope you liked this video. If yes, hit like, subscribe and ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding. Bang, bang, gong, and we'll see us in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.